Ah, Smithmas time. It's always great to get new content for your favorite game. And you know what? Today I'm in a good mood. Let's talk about the map Krampus. Mr. Dispenser! Hello everyone, Mr. Deep Freezer here. Maybe many of you don't know this, but Smithmas maps are actually one of the newer things in TF2. This is something Peak Team Fortress 2 never had. And I don't know, I really like them. I mean, we had a rocky start with, um... But after that we got... Bread space. Okay, okay, but after that we got some really nice TF2 winter maps. And to be honest, they kept improving on this concept. And now we are at this year's Smithmas update. I was once again overwhelmed by the number of maps we got, this time being 10. But between all of these, there was one map that really stuck out for me, that really felt great from day one. And this is Krampus. The map itself is a king of the hill type. Since the first game I joined I had a blast playing it. Maybe my bias is very strong, king of the hill is my second favorite game mode in TF2. But still, let me explain. This map has a great design. Everything from the point to the side areas and the spawn area just functions very well. I especially like the area surrounding the point. It reminds me a lot of Shark Bay and that map was already excellent. Let's dive into the main point area a bit more shall we? I really like the idea of a rather smaller capture point. I don't want to see only smaller capture points from now on though, because normally I really don't like the too cramped and too small maps. I feel like it doesn't really work for many classes, but other benefit too much from it. But on this map it really works, it makes capturing the point so much risk here. And while the point isn't very spacious, its surrounding area is, so some classes can play around the point, while others play on the point. Then there are the low and high ground. Let's start with the low ground. Real quick, this statue is amazing. Is this maybe Medic's father? Anyway, the low ground is a great way to recover to. You drop down and lose the objective in sight. So yeah, attacking is done with that option, but there is still a treat for giving up the space. There is first, as I said, safety, and second, a large health pack that heals you up all the way. So this lower ground already has a purpose, there's a clear reason that it exists and it's also shown through blocking of the side to the point and the large health pack. So yeah, the low ground is great to recover to. Now there's the high ground. This one also works perfectly. It's a perfect point to ambush the capturing point. And when you have it, you should defend it at all costs. It's a nice place to hold in, with a great point to back up to. But the area itself is also a bit less spacious, which means that you really need to be on your edge to attack or defend, otherwise it can go wrong quickly. But again, the high ground is perfect for attacking the point and therefore so important that it makes the risky play so much more worth it. I also like the smaller archers that the high ground has, they also protect the high ground a bit from spam and snipers. So yeah, the map is really nicely designed, it has a clear point where you should attack the capturing point, it has nice points to recover to and there are some nice elevations for different classes to really shine in. The map itself from decorations and props isn't really that flashy. It's a calm little German village in winter. But that doesn't mean that there aren't a few nice secrets on it. I especially love the statue of course, but also the sign at spawn. Again, it's not as flashy as other maps in this update, but I don't mind it. It's like not so distracting than other maps. The main gimmick of the map is obviously the Krampus boss fight. It's a really fun thing to do. The voice acting is peak and there is no truce, so there is a mad Krampus whacking through your lines while the other team can help you or harm you. The underworld forest is creepy, it's like the perfect balance to the overworld. The Krampus is so nicely modeled and again perfect voice acting. Also I love that he crits you every time he whacks you. It's like a really nice dynamic and weirdly enough I don't mind that the capture point is on hold during this fight. I must also say that I really like the flow of this map. I played a few rounds already on it and almost always had close fights and amazing games where you don't even mind losing in the end. The Krampus really resets the map or at least the middle point, so there's a constant rush and never really a real steamroll. It's like constantly a reset and you can't really just hold the point. I had a heavy gameplay that's probably in the background right now where I went nuts and dominated the enemy team and still lost the game in the end. So yeah, it's like a really nice dynamic and it's like a constant back and forth and I 
I really like that rush. All in all, I really like the map. It's super well flowing gameplay with a fun gimmick. I can see that a lot of passion went into this one. I really like the map as I said and I think it's the best one in the update. But what do you think about it? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful Smithmas time. See you in the next video. Mr. Spencer out. Oh, and once again, thanks so much to Zeke Notech for level 3 membership.